No, I would like to, to welcome the young artist who decided to make art the career. It requires a certain courage for one reason. There are many, many opportunities in art, but there are also many artists. The competition is difficult. Van Gogh never sold one painting. Van Gogh was bad taste. But the big uh, academic painter, the great academic painter who painted beautiful battles, those were making fortunes. They had good taste. I don't know the answer to such a question, how to determine what is good taste, what is bad taste. I believe every one of us, we have a little treasury inside ourselves. We have a little secret. Sometimes we don't know it. In general, we don't know it. And to discover the secret, there's one way. To be technically terribly skillful. We must despise technique when we know it, after years and years of practice. But when we start in the business, we must love technique and we must study technique and we must arrive at a point where we know a very bit of technical question. The blueprint is, in my opinion, is dangerous in art. With the civilization of the blueprints, we are forced to live in houses where every item belongs to the same system. I mean, that the window pans, for instance, all of them have the same size. And the repetition of the same size in details is terribly tiring for imagination in the sense that it doesn't allow anything to imagination. Everything is, is perfect and, and conceived in advance. Existence comes before essence. In other words, you build a house before knowing what will be the purpose of the house. We will you start building a church and it will be a border. It is that the individual becomes unbearable if he believes that it is too important. The secret is probably to mix the modesty of the artist with his desire to express himself. Constantly I'm trying to find a good definition for what is art. Up to now I never found it. But I know a little more about the question. Art, in my opinion, is used in a wrong way, you know, there's. Art, in the beginning, was the making. You were a great scientist if you uh, write uh, books about science. But the making, that's art. That's the Latin sense, the Greek sense, and also the sense in many Oriental languages. And the artist is the one who knows how to make. He's not a theoretician. Art is a conversation between the public and the artist. And the conversation must be intimate. If the conversation is not intimate, if the public doesn't discover what is inside the, the artist who is looking at his work, they are become useless. That the real artist tells about himself entirely with a perfect sincerity, but without knowing it. In spite of himself, he's conveying a message. If he starts his work explaining to himself, I'm going to deliver a great message, 
there are many chances that he won't deliver nothing at all. If we talk about love, with your fingers, you feel the skin of the woman you love. And that's very important, because this skin is alive. The making of uh, the object, and the use of the object later, was exactly like an act of love. Today, we can uh, find again this act of love, through art. Art is a way to tell the other man, I love you. Because with our love, it's useless to try to do anything. Now, those reflections are just a piece of conversation. We don't pretend to establish a doctrine. It's just a way of talking. It's just a way to tell you what are my preoccupations now. I would like to find the answer to many questions. I don't find them. Thank you, Mr. Renoir. We're grateful and we're proud that you were able to spend this time with us. It's a good pleasure. I hope your students won't be too much disappointed. I had a few dreams I uh, told them. <laughs> <laughs>